Hello, this is an Astroneer tutorial about the storage sensor. It is a detailed description as well as some common uses and some more advanced uses. This is the storage sensor. Like all the sensors, it's got a pin on top that can be used to activate, uh, attach to uh, whatever object you want to activate. Um, it senses uh, how full storage is. So you can attach it to uh, platforms or storage uh, uh, containers or anything like that and it will tell you, it will trigger when it is full or empty. Um, the modes are full or empty, so when it's completely full or completely empty, full or not full, so this only triggers um, basically when it's full or if you take a single piece off of that storage it'll it'll trigger and then empty or not empty so it's completely empty or if there's anything at all on the storage um, the storage looks for the entirety of uh, subgrid so if you see we have um, one storage sensor on on the platform itself and one storage sensor on this uh, storage uh, container if I connect this to here both trigger because this one is sensing both the the platform and this the the storage container whereas this one is only sensing the platform because the storage container is attached to that so that's one of the, the, the properties of the storage sensor um, it works on canisters so it can detect uh, canisters and vehicles so it'll it'll work on vehicles um, some of the more common uses for the storage sensor is to um, make sure you have enough resources. So in this case, we have uh, just a, a soil centrifuge that's um, uh, set up to this medium storage silo. If I take something off of here, so this is completely empty, whenever this is completely empty, it triggers uh, the uh, uh, soil centrifuge to make more stuff. You can also have it so if you want to fill up an area with resources. So this is attached to the medium storage. If I take one off, it activates the auto alarm to fill it up again and then stops it. So that'll, uh, you know, that's a way to keep um, specific sections of your base uh, stored with, full of whatever object you want. Um, you can also make a storage uh, canister timer. So this is a very quick timer so if you if you notice I just started that it's gonna unload four or eight, eight uh, compound onto this which triggers the uh, the storage sensor which is attached to this which puts it back in so this is kind of like an eight second timer you can make a two uh, eight or 24 second timer very easily um, and uh, it's a little quick for activating a lot of stuff on the base like it doesn't work for trade platforms or soil centrifuges or anything like that um, but if you need something that you know activates every eight seconds this is a great timer it doesn't use any power now with the storage sensor you can create more advanced uh, uh, devices by adding auto arms so this device over here is uh, for if you want to sort into a specific amount of something. So right here we have uh, a platform that has four spaces and a storage sensor which is uh, full or empty. And when it gets full, it swaps it around and it's gonna put four on there. So if you have uh, another device or set of machines that um, you only want uh, four of something before you start running it, so. Um, I use this in my um, soil to scrap automation. I want to ensure that I have uh, four canisters of soil before I start up the rest of the machines. Uh, see, in this case, it's got three. It's not gonna. It's not gonna load these onto the next platform until it has a fourth one. So again, put that on there, and then now it's got a fourth one, and it it starts uh, it starts offloading them again. So this. This ensures that if you want to have a specific number, specific number of uh, resources before you start a process, um, you can set that up. So, um, yeah, that's the way this works. Uh, one of the quirks with this is on the outgoing auto arm, you're gonna have an extra um, 
uh, extra resource on the auto arm because this turns off just after this pulls it up. So when you're building this, just remember to prime uh, the, the outgoing auto arm with uh, one of the resources you want to use. Uh, another resource or another use for uh, the storage sensor is timers. So with the canister timer, uh, this uh, this uh, timer, uh, or with the canister timer, it's um, very quick and easy to use, but it, the, the, the speed at which it operates is very quick. So the maximum you can get out of a, a um, uh, canister timer is is tw effectively uh, 24 or 34 seconds, depending on where you put the um, storage sensor. This one can operate for longer periods of time. So um, each time it, it pulls a resource off and puts it back, it takes three to four de seconds, depending on if this um, uh, you know uh, can can understand where the resources are or not. But basically, this is just a, a, a full or empty sensor on one of the um, the storages that toggle uh, the uh, one auto arm on and the other auto arm off. See, there it goes. So this is good for long amounts of time. Um, you can use this to uh, trigger soil centrifuges or even trade platforms. You can wait the 50 or so seconds that it takes to come back down and then re-trigger it that way. Um, so I use these a lot um, when I want to run uh, uh, printers. So this is the, the setup with eight. I use this to run a medium printer or a small printer uh, all the time. It's, it's a little slow for that, but uh, I haven't found anything uh, better uh, at the moment. Um, another use is splitting. So in this case, I have uh, eight quarts and I want half of it to be turned into glass and half of it to remain quartz. So uh, in this case, I have a, a a storage sensor that is toggling on and off uh, these uh, auto arms in a specific way so that uh, when when one platform is filling the other platform is emptying and it'll just keep going back and forth like this um, and again you want to make sure that you prime uh, uh, your auto arms in the system otherwise uh, you're, you're, you know, you're going to get a, a, a small loss of resources the very first time you run it. Uh, so this allows you to split stuff. Um, again, you know, for glass and uh, uh, quartz, there's other reasons you may want to split. Or you just may want to split all your, say, copper into two different groups. This is an easy way to do that. And then the final, uh, the final use for the storage sensor is automating uh, the trade platform. So what we have here is we have an auto arm which fills up this area with scrap. So this is this is your your you know scrap storage or whatever. You're gonna fill this up with scrap. Um, it's gonna detect when this is full. It's gonna pull it off here and put it on the trade platform. And when it's empty, this will trigger again to launch the trade platform. And then when this comes back, it'll pull the uh, your your whatever you traded for off and you can put it on this, uh, any, any storage. In this case, I'm pulling, I'm trading for Wolframite um, and so I'm putting it on a smelter and turning it into tungsten right away. Um, one of the tricks for this is because Wolframite takes uh, three, you need uh, this section up here. So what this section does is it's set up to uh, use compound um, and it takes two compound and puts it on here. So that this thing, while it has eight, eight uh, storage slots, um, two of them take, get taken up with compound. So that means you get a six total in uh, um, in scrap. Um, so there we go. So it launches, and then once it's flipped around, so this is pulling another six, but uh, uh, but this is putting two compound on here. So this is going to fill up with six. And because we're waiting right here for this to come back, this is just once this gets full. It will trigger. Let's wait for that. There we go. It'll trigger. So this is this is pulling off your two compound again. Um, it now has six scrap here, uh, and it's waiting for this to come back. Once it comes back, this will pull it off while it's loading the scrap. And uh, yeah, and that is the final common use that I have right near right now. Thank you for watching.